This is Frank Goss with SGTV. It was the summer of 1996, and the gallery had recently moved from Pasadena to Santa Barbara when I had the pleasure of meeting Robin Gowan and getting to know her work. Though the gallery was nearly 12 years old at the time, she became our first living artist from the Central Coast community. For 16 years, we have represented her in group and solo exhibitions. The majority of her work then, and today, explores the play of sunlight in the moments leading toward nightfall, the play of night and day. In every shade, every mood, every whisper, she drags her easel and palette to the edge of day and finds a freshness that only lovers find in each other, the soft roll of muscle and strength. Every time I think I know who she is as an artist, the door opens to a new element of her work. This time, she has produced a suite of architectural oils, each representing an opening and an invitation, but each, just like her, welcoming and requiring a sense of investigation. Her paintings are rarely about conclusions, but nearly always about introductions. So much of her work is about her love affair with life, Though she is passionate about the twilight moments, she is not afraid to explore the noonday sun and the baking heat of midday. She is as interested in the panorama of a forest as she is in the complexity of a single tree. But she always returns to her use of strong contrasts the simple values of light and dark, her use of shadow and sunlight to model the three dimensions of California's rolling hills. In so many ways, I think paintings like Black Hills Waiting, with its broad lineal divisions, provide the support for all her explorations. Come and enjoy Gowan's most recent investigation, Night Must Wait, through May. You also might enjoy her latest novel, coincidentally titled, Night Must Wait. <laughs>